so good morning everyone namaste to all in this morning session we are we are practicing exercise 2 so let me brief and the steps 1 to 4 so basically in this exercise 2 we are observing the body and the interaction between me and the body so in step 1 of this exercise 2 we are trying to observe that i and the body are both distinct realities i am conscious unit body is material unit so some physiochemical activities are going on in body and conscious activities like desire thought expectations are going on in me so on the basis of this direct observation of activities we can say that i exist and body exist i am a reality and body is also a reality and both exist separately distinctly so this is an outcome of this step one that i and body both exist distinctly so once i am aware that i exist and body exist then it is important to know the interaction between the between me and the body so in step two we are trying to observe how the interaction is taking place between me and body so with observation we can see that i give instruction to my body to the body and body follows it so i want i instruct body to walk body walks i instruct body to sit body sits whatever i give instruction body follows it and this instruction is in the form of information so this we have to observe that whatever instruction we give to the body is it in the form of information so observation is very important similarly when i read sensation then we can also see that sensations are reading sensation is in the form of information so we are reading sensations from the body we are giving instruction to the body instruction is also an information sensation is also an information so on the basis of this we can say that interaction between the self and the body is only in the form of information no physiochemical things are being exchanged between me and the body so this we have to observe in step two so once we are clear that only information is being exchanged between me and the body then in step three we are trying to observe who is decision maker who is deciding to give instruction to the body who is deciding to read a specific sensation from the body so activities take place in the body but body is not sending any information to me it is my decision to read any sensation or not so i am the one who decides to give instruction to the body i am the one who decides to read specific sensations from the body and it is important to note here that i am not reading all the sensations millions of sensations are taking place in my body but with my decision i read some specific sensation of the body so the decisions regarding the exchange of information between me and the body are entirely mine so outcome of step three is that i am able to see that i am decision maker i decide to read sensation from the body i instruct to the body so decisions regarding the exchange of information between me and the body are entirely mine and we interact with body as and when we think it is important to read sensation of the body so i am not interacting with the body all the time i interact with my body time to time whenever i think now it is important to express myself whenever i think that now it is important to address this sensation then i read the sensation coming from the body so interaction is not continuous 
interaction between me and the body happens when I think it is important to interact with the body. So the body acts according to our instruction that I give it. And I use the body as per my decision. I use the body as an instrument. So in step 3, we are observing that I am seer, I am doer and I am enjoyer. So seer means I observe, I see my body as and when required. Similarly, I use the body, see. So I am the one who decides to see. In that sense, I am the observer. So the role of eyes is to pass information to me. But it is me who decides whether to see those images or not. So I am the seer. Similarly, I am the doer. So I decide what to do with the information which we are getting from the body. So I decide what to do, what not to do. In that sense, I am the doer. Similarly, I am the one who experiences happiness and unhappiness. In that sense, I am enjoyer, experiencer. So I am seer, I am doer and I am enjoyer. And body is my instrument. This we are observing in step 3. And with this, we are practicing step 4. And in step 4, I am reading the sensation taking place in the body. And while observing my sensation, while reading this sensation, any particular sensation, I am asking myself, am I the sensation? Am I in the sensation? Am I separate from the sensation? So if we are observing carefully, if we are asking these questions while observing the sensation, not after sensation has happened. Now, while we are observing the session, we are asking this question. So we get the answer that I am not the sensation. I am not in the sensation. And there is separation between me and the sensation. So I can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body from where I am at a distance from the sensation. So in step 4, we are observing that there is a separation between me and the body. There is a separation between me and the sensation. So there is no direct connection between me and the sensation. That's why we have choices to read the particular sensation or not to read particular sensation. So this is step 1 to 4 are helping us to see both the realities, interaction between the two realities and also helping me to see that I am seer, doer and enjoyer and I am separate from the body. So with these four steps, we will move towards step 5. So I hope we are practicing these steps 1, 2, 3 and 4 of exercise 2. And observation is very important. The process of observation is very important. So the more we observe, the more we get clarity of interaction between the two realities. The more we observe, we will be able to see that I am not bound to interact with the body. I have choices to interact with the body. I am not bound to interact with the body. So with observation, we can see that I decide whether to interact with the body or not. So this is my choice. I am not bound to read sensations of the body. So that's why step 1 to 4 of this exercise 2 is very important. So we are practicing these steps all the time while walking, talking. In fact, when you are asking question, you are when you are unmuting your mic, mic muting your mic, all the time, we have to be aware what is happening between me and the body. I have to be aware all the instructions that I am giving to my body. I have to be aware when I am reading sensation from the body. So this is all about the awareness. This is all about the awareness. This is all about the direct observation. 
so this direct observation will help us will help me to realize that i am a separate unit from the body and once it is clear to me that i am not a body i am separate from the body then many problems that we are facing due to assumption that i am body can be resolved so many problems we are facing in life because we have assumed that i am a body but with these steps when i will be able to see that i am a separate reality than the body this is my choice whether to interact with body or not so with all these steps i will be able to see myself i will be able to see the body separately and i will be able to see the interaction between the self and the body <clears throat> then it will be easy for us <clears throat> to take decision with awareness and then we will more comfortable with knowing of these two realities so that's why this step 1 to 4 is very important for us so with this i am just opening this step 5 then we will take your observation so in step 5 now we are trying to observe interaction with the body and the world outside so in step 5 we are going to explore how this interaction whenever i interact with the body and the world outside how the interaction takes place this is we this is what we are trying to see in this step 5 and step 5 is very important step and this step 5 has nine sub steps that we will see one by one so in this step 5 we will also see how we associate or how we associate some meaning when we interact with the world outside so how we associate how we give meaning to sensations this all we are going to see in this step 5 but we will move slowly and you know, gradually because this step 5 is very important so in step 5 we are going to see sources of sensation what are the sources of sensations so step 1 to 4 we are trying to see sensations ha happening in the body but now in step 5 we are going to explore what are the sources of sensation that are happening in the body so there are four sources of sensation four possible sources of sensation number 1 the effect of behavior of the other whenever i interact with other person so whenever the other person behaves then his behavior his or her behavior first reaches my body so for example suppose a person says good morning or good afternoon anything whenever he or she says something a sound comes to the ear of my body and it reaches to ear drum so whenever this sound touches my body and due to that some sensations take place in the body suppose we are watching tv or some sounds are coming from outside a person whom we are interacting with he or she says something says something means some voice comes into my ear some sound comes into my ear and whenever that sound touch my ear ear drum some sensation takes place so this is first source of the sensation you know so whenever we are talking to each other you know, whenever you talk to your family members what is happening so someone talks someone says something to you and whenever they say that sound comes into our ear when the sound touch my body specifically ear then we feel some sensation in my ear so this is one source of sensation that take place in my body similarly the other source 
सेकेंड सोर्स इज समथिंग फिजियोकेमिकल चेंज हैपनिंग आउटसाइड सम फिजियोकेमिकल चेंज हैपनिंग आउटसाइड सो लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल देयर इज कोल्ड आउटसाइड और यू आर सिटिंग इन अ रूम विथ ए सी सो वेन एवर द रूम इज कोल्ड कूल सो इट एफेक्ट योर बॉडी इट एफेक्ट योर बॉडी मीन्स द आउटसाइड इन्वायरमेंट देयर आर सम सेंसेशन टेक प्लेस इन योर बॉडी विद द इंट्रैक्शन विद आउटसाइड इन्वायरमेंट एंड बिकॉज दिस आउटसाइड इन्वायरमेंट इज इंट्रैक्टिंग विथ योर बॉडी सम सेंसेशन टेक्स प्लेस ड्यू टू दैट देर आर सेंसेशन इन द बॉडी सो इन फर्स्ट केस वी आर ट्राइंग टू ऑब्जर्व इंट्रैक्शन वेन वी आर इंट्रैक्टिंग विथ अदर ह्यूमन बींग्स इन सेकेंड सोर्स आई एम नॉट इंट्रैक्टिंग विथ एनी ह्यूमन बींग बट द आउटसाइड इन्वायरमेंट एफेक्टिंग माई बॉडी सो देर इज अ हीट देर इज अ कोल्ड देर इज अ मॉइस्चर आउटसाइड इन द इन्वायरमेंट है ना सो हाउ डू वी नो देर इज ए कोल्ड हीट और मॉइस्चर बिकॉज इट इम्पैक्ट्स आर अ बॉडी इट एफेक्ट्स आर बॉडी सम सेंसेशन टेक प्लेस इन आर बॉडी दैट्स वाई वी नो दैट देर इज अ कोल्ड और हीट सो दिस इज अनदर सोर्स ऑफ सेंसेशन आउटसाइड इन्वायरमेंट थर्ड सोर्स देर आर इवेंट्स हैपनिंग विद इन द बॉडी so like when we eat food so digestion starts you know there is a itching there is a headache some sometimes heartbeat get fast it gets slow all these happening at the level of body and whenever it happens i can read that sensation so this is the third possible source when sensations take place in my body similarly the next source is fourth fourth source is due to my imagination so many things are going on in my imagination and sometimes we feel peace sometimes we feel worries anxiety sometimes we have fear and whenever this happens in my imagination and if i am unaware if i am unaware to handle all these then these impacts our body also so for example whenever you are in fear you will you can see your heart beat your heart beat get fast because of that fear in you similarly when you are you are filled with worries you are in contradiction your imagination in contradiction so you may feel sensation in your body in the form of headache migration etc so one source is of uh, sensation in my body is my imagination so feelings are going on in myself thoughts are going on in myself and i am not aware so it impacts my body also and so we can say psychosomatic diseases so something happening in myself i am not aware of it and it is impacting my body so due to that also there are sensations in the body so these four possible sources of sensations are written here and these sources are having effect on the body in the form of sensation and all these happening in my body but i can decide to read this sensation or not to read these sensations because decision is mine i am decision maker you know so in step 1 to 4 i have we have seen that i am at a separation from the sensation so i have choices to read or not to read but these are four possible sources of sensation now what we have to do we have to observe we have to observe and while we are observing our sensation can we see which is the possible source of sensation which is happening in my body can we identify the source so we will observe the sensation with awareness and we will try to identify the source of this sensation suppose there is a headache now you observe it and observing while observing this headache 
कैन यू लोकेट द सोर्स ऑफ दिस सेंसेशन इज इट बिकॉज ऑफ समथिंग फिजियो केमिकल चेंज इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन योर बॉडी और इज इट बिकॉज ऑफ समथिंग गोइंग ऑन इन माई इमेजिनेशन ड्यू टू विच माई बॉडी इज गेटिंग इम्पेक्टेड और इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ सम इन्वायरमेंट चेंज आउटसाइड सो वी हैव टू लोकेट द सोर्स ऑफ माई सेंसेशन दिस वी हैव टू डू सो वी विल डू दिस एक्सरसाइज फॉर फाइव मिनट्स सिक्स मिनट एंड एज वी हैव प्रैक्टिस टू ऑब्जर्व माई सेंसेशन सो इट विल बी इजी फॉर एस टू ऑब्जर्व एनी सेंसेशन विद डिसीजन बट दिस टाइम वी हैव टू ऑब्जर्व द सोर्स ऑल्सो सपोज यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग योर हैंड एंड सम सेंसेशन इज टेकिंग प्लेस नाउ यू ऑब्जर्व द सोर्स ऑफ दैट सेंसेशन ऑल्सो इट इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द इन्वायरमेंट और समथिंग गोइंग ऑन इन द बॉडी दैट्स वाई दिस सेंसेशन इज टेकिंग प्लेस और ड्यू टू माई इमेजिनेशन my body is getting affected so these four possible sources that we have discussed in brief though we will discuss in detail also but i have put all these sources in brief now we have to observe are we able to locate the source right so you are sitting in a room maybe at your home someone calls you maybe someone is calling you hai na because he or she is calling you some sensation is taking place in your body i am aware that this sensation is because of the other sound other voice so all we have to observe it sharply then we will move all these step you know one by one so let's sit for 5 to 10 minutes you know so you can note down whenever you see that this is this sensation has take place taken place because of source 2 you note down yes i have seen it and i am this sensation is because of source 2 then again you start observing then if you see that this sensation is taking place because of source 3 then you note it down yes then you again start observing yourself your body if you see that this is, sensation is taking place because of this self then you note it down so we have to do this to do this exercise for 5 to 10 minutes then we will move to each step you know gradually because as i have said that there are nine sub steps in this step 5 we will discuss one by one but first we may start observing this sensation so it's 5 is 6 am so we can sit for next 10 minutes and then we will try to read sensation and then we will also try to locate the source whether i am able to find the source of this sensation or not so let's start we can sit comfortably we can you can lose your body and just take decision that i will observe sensation of the body so you can focus into one part of body or 2 minutes at one part then next 2 minutes another part and try to locate the source am i able to find out the source of the sensations this we have to do for next 6 to 7 minutes so let's sit together and then i will take your observation okay okay so let's come back so how many of us are able to see the sensation because of the first source first source is when someone is talking or someone is or some due to someone's voice for example like it could be human voice or like like birds are making sound fan is moving and that sound is coming to your ear and you are able to see that yes sound has come it has touches to my it has 
touch to my ear that's why there is a sensation in my body so how how many of us are able to see the first source of sensation we can write in chat box very nice so many of us are able to see the sensation because of first source okay so now my next question is how many of us are able to see the sensation because of the source 2 source 2 is some physiochemical change happen and it has affected our body due to that there was a sensation okay so many of us are able to see the sensation because of source 2 okay so next is how many of us are able to see the sensation because of the source 3 something happening within my body it is not because of the outside environment it is not because of the someone's behavior it is because some activities it is taking place in my body and i am able to see it yes so i will take few example from you you know of all these four sources and the last is how many of us are able to see the sensation because of something is taking place in my imagination and it is affecting my body so now we, uh, any one of us can share you know, his or her observation and can share one example of each source when you were observing it observing the sensation you can share with one example that this is the example that's why I could identify that this sensation has taken place because of this source so with example if you will share all the four sources then it will help all of us to understand the four sources of sensation right so share the example exactly what has happened with you while observing this sensation so i will request don't make any example exactly what was happened with you when you were observing sensation that you have to share with us okay जी भैया नमस्ते जी जी भैया नमस्ते नमस्ते सभी को बाय गोइंग स्टेप बाय स्टेप भैया आई वाज ऑब्जर्विंग स्टेप नंबर वन इफेक्ट ऑफ द बिहेवियर ऑफ द फर्स्ट रिचेस टू द बॉडी एस आई वाज कमिंग टुवर्ड्स द हॉल हॉल दिस हॉल थ्री देर वेर ऑल द बर्ड्स चिरपिंग दैट पिकॉक्स वेर दिस दे वेर मेकिंग so this is the sensation number one. Number two, the situation outside the body. As I entered the hall, there there was not AC on. So there was again sensation. So I moved out. I waited for some time. Now I am in the hall. Now there is a pleasant feeling. Again, the sensation in the body. Number three, within the body. So within the body means what? So there is nothing like that because I'm all the time feeling very happy, no pain in the head, happiness. So normal is going on. So again, happy. So these are the same. No sensation of any bad things in the body. And the fourth is very important for me. There is imagination in this uh, self. So that is peace, worries, anxiety. So nowadays, we all people they are getting flu-like something. So there is one imagination. If I am taking that imagination that I will be uh, suffered by the fever, then and then only it will touch to my body or even if now we are talking about the imagination. But if I feel that there won't be anything, I am very happy, I have not done anything or I am not in sensation, I am away from the sensation. So again, uh, it is the role of imagination which is taking, uh, which is bringing unhappiness into me. I think so. So now I am happy with all these four observations. Ji bhaiya, I hope I have cleared. Thank you. Okay. So it is good bhaiya that source one and two, you could identify easily. Ji, ji. 
so let's take one or two more sharing then we will try to sum up all these things so we are bhaiya namaste and good morning namaste didi bhaiya uh, when i sat to do this uh, i just i was sitting with my eyes closed and i can see that the sound of my son like he was sleeping so i was getting the sound of my son so i can classify that to be the first source of the sensation and then i was able to see that uh, there is a mild breeze coming out of my fan so which i can classify that as the second one and since i'm sitting for some 5 to 10 minutes i had a mild pain on my shoulders so that was considered as the third source of sensation uh but i have i just want to have a clarity here by regarding the fourth one can i ji 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 so the fourth sources or the imagination in the self so uh, when i have a imagination of something going on in myself that can affect my body only i have a behavior based on the imagination so in such a sense uh, i'm not sure whether i'll be getting this fourth uh, sources what i mean is when i imagine something that is a feeling and if if i get a feeling of anxiety or worry only when i'm going to express that as in behavior or the work i'll be able to see it isn't it bhaiya ji ji so we will discuss all these uh, issues that we are trying to ask you know? but this time i am just taking observation so with two or three observation we will be clear we may be clear what is happening with all these four sources so i will address your issue didi so this time i just only taking sharing observation of these four sources so okay. i will address this later didi okay. okay thank you bye okay so regarding source one i just want to add something then we will take few sharing so regarding this source one you know so someone says that and there are birds which are chirping then uh, child is crying or making noise so important is whenever it is happening you know i am identifying that someone has spoken or some sound has come into my ear and that time i am observing that the sensation that is happening in my ear is because of that sound the sensation we have to focus once source is identified it is okay that my child is you know making voice this is one part and this sound is coming to in to my ear and something is happening in my ear this we have to observe, observe that otherwise what will happen i will observe my child yes he has spoken that's why i have listened it you have listened it before that this sound has reaches to your ear and that sensation that has taken place because of that sound am i have i observed that sensation or not this is important you know so something happen outside especially with human being when he is creating voice that voice is coming into my ear and i am now re reading that sensation which is which has come to my ear this we have to observe that sensation we have to observe yes this sound has come it is it impacted uh, my ear and now i am reading this sensation this we have to observe right so let's take a few more sharing we will be clear now very soon so let's take one or more sharing uh bhaiya actually i was walking that is this is the time where i used to walk uh, from 5:30 to 6:30 
I observed while walking. Can I express it or whether we have to set it in a particular? Uh, yeah, yeah, you you share, you share, yeah. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I was walking and I could see that uh, there are sounds coming out from the vehicle that I have noticed. This. And at the same time, I noticed the sound of the birds also. This is the first one which I noticed about the source one, which is heard from the ear. And at the same time, I could observe the second source of information, uh, that is uh, the wind which is blowing, that is uh, a cold wind, that is it is not so cold in our area, that I could notice that there is a cold which is reaching to my skin, I could notice it. That is the second source. And the third one is concerned, I could see respiration is going within the body that I could notice my respiration. And also right. I could observe while moving uh, the saliva, the taste of saliva also. There is something, uh, some taste of saliva I can notice it via. And as far as the uh, fourth uh, source is concerned, the thoughts while we are looking outside, if something is happening, like uh, the person was some uh, was uh, urinating on the way, uh, some feeling was there, but in fact I could not notice it. That how these people on the way, uh, this type of people when they are walking, uh, they are being like this. That was the one feeling I could notice it via, not the impact on the body. So this is my observation by. Very nice, Bhaiya. You communicated all the four sources. In fact, in three and four, your sharing is very good. You observe it properly. Many times it happens that whenever we think of any sweets good and that we like most. So immediately that saliva or water comes into our mouth. So something has happened in my imagination. I have imagined my favorite suit, uh, sweet, but it immediately impacts our body. Some saliva or some water comes into our mind. So this is one possible example of this, some imagination. So very nice, Bhaiya. You have uh, shared all the four sources. Similarly, when we are observing the body, so it is not necessary that when there is a headache, pain, then only I will observe the sensation. Many sensations are taking place. As Bhaiya said, breathing, it is happening in body. We can see it. Similarly, if we observe our body properly, we can see the stomach and some movement in the stomach also. So it is not required that the body is in trouble, then I will be able to see the sensation only. We can see many activities naturally happening in our body. So this is good that we are observing it. And important is observation. So if we keep observing it, then we will be able to find the sources more clearly. And thank you, Bhaiya. So we can take one more sharing. Thank you, so Thank with you. other sharing, we will be able to see. We will be clear of many doubts. Namaste, Bhaiya. Yes, Bhaiya, just now as Suryakant Bhaiya was also sharing. So after you said that you observed the sensations and I closed my eyes and my attention was on my body only. I could feel the fan which is, you know, the air is coming from the fan and I could feel that on my body. And a bird is chirping outside my window that I could also, that I could also read the bird outside. And then because of the fan, it's early morning and it's rainy outside. So I could feel a little cold in my feet. I'm sitting on a chair, so I could feel that my feet are little cold. And there is this sensation in my feet. And then, yeah, 
one change that I could see the sequence here has changed because there is some imagination also which is going on in me. me. Because of that imagination, I could feel something inside me also, like when there is something that we feel when we are not comfortable, we are anxious, worried about something, then there is a sensation in the body. That also I could read when I was sitting quietly. So this is all about my sharing here. So the sequence may change, Bia. Is it so that because of the imagination, I could feel the changes inside also? The sensations going inside the body. Like when we have a low BP, then I feel low. So that kind of sensation because of some anxiety in me, I could feel that also. Because I started from these sensations coming from outside. But then I went into the imagination and I could then see the whatever is going inside and whatever is going outside was not important at that time so nice sharing didi yeah. so we will talk about this that if there is a low bp why i am feeling low actually i am separate from the body but if i am not able to see this separation then we are not able to differentiate the information coming from the body or coming from my imagination so i have assumed myself body so whatever happened with body generally we say it is happening with me suppose for example fever who has the fever body or the self yeah body where is the fever body yeah but body. we say i have fever i have fever yes that's why yeah. we feel low so we say my BP is low. That's why we feel low. If I am clear that fever is in the body, I am still active. Then I can do whatever is required for the body. But I, we are so associated with our body. Something has happened in the body. We assume that it happens with me. That's why we feel low and up with the body and so if we practice this step one to four then we will be able to clear in ourselves that we are not a body i am not a body then this will not happen yes right but the imagination is affecting me here that i could observe yes that yes when yes, I'm, that whenever is i am worried or anxious so it is affecting the body <laughs> yes so it will affect your body and that's why we will go to all these steps in detail. Then we will say, see where we can handle all this association that we have made due to our sanskar. That we will see gradually. So yes. thank you everyone that you have observed and shared and the process, shared your sharing, the sources of sensations. Now it's Thank time you. to Hindi session, but we will request all the participants, all the co-explorer that we will keep observing all these uh, four sources you know? we will keep observing the sensations and we will try to identify the source. What is the source of this sensation that is taking place in my body? We will keep observing it. Then from tomorrow, I will, you know, give more yes. examples so that you will be clear of this uh, sensations ji bhaiya yes. thank you uh, gopal bhaiya